I guess it's that time again. Welcome back to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of January 22nd, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, of course, digitally in the best wear, I imagine, is Alex. Best wear? Yeah. Like attire? Yeah, of course. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Best, you know, best wears. I guess when you say a wear, you think more of, like, goods. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I was just thinking yeah. best wear. Like, you know, okay. he's wearing his I mean, best kind of dress. Shirt on. Yes, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. I, I was picturing... <laughs> I, <laughs> I was picturing, like, a like a suit. Like a yeah, suit coat a suit. on, but nothing else. Like, everything else is normal, but you just have a suit jacket on. Nah, man. It's, it's, it's Even if pantsless, that's still too hot. <laughs> Alex, how are you? I'm good, man. Been playing some games. We've been playing a lot of games. I finished Demon Souls. You have too. Mm-hmm. The only reason I know you finished Demon Souls is because we kind of did a thing where you like you play a single player game, but you're talking at the same time, kind of like a multiplayer game. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed Demon Souls. That was my first time playing the game. I never played it when same. it was on PS3, uh, but it was fun. I will say, I don't know if this is controversial at all in the Souls community, but that's definitely the know. easiest Dark Souls like game I've ever played. I've played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Sekiro, and I'm going making my way through Bloodborne right now, and mm-hmm. that, by far, is the easiest one I've ever played. Now, I did hear that there's a lot of things that they've eased up on the remaster. Yes, I did I too. I the original I was, so, Demon Souls is so much harder. Yeah, so, so I was using a walkthrough on mm-hmm. various things, because I like... I... How do I say this? So I love Dark Souls and, like, the NPCs and things like that. They just make it so darn hard to experience that content because you have to, you know, do this thing when this thing happens, but, like, you have Mm -hmm. to know to go back there, but you don't have any Mm -hmm. way of knowing that. So you just have to guess. So I, like, here, I'll walk you guys through this. Sit back, relax. I'm going to walk you through, like, how I play the game. So I play the game, right? I do the level normally, you know, like you'd normally play a game. I get to either the boss or I beat the boss. And then I'll, I'll open up a walkthrough. Straight, shout, first off, shout out to, f- what, you have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, Fighting Cowboy, is that his name? Yep, yep, that's correct. Yeah, so, I, so I'm enjoying this just gentleman's walkthrough. I would click it on, you know, kind of quickly scrub through it, see if I missed any anything crazy, you know, and if I ever see him talk to an NPC, I'm like, oh, well, I missed that, so let me go, that, go through that. I like getting the NPCs and ensuring I get, like, all of the... Um, stories because i would have missed one of my favorite npcs in the game if not for this gentleman and i loved if you played the game hey, alex astrava that correct Am I right oh, that? yeah Estra- astrava yeah i would not have experienced that at all if not for that walkthrough so i'm very glad i watched mm-hmm. i listened to that because i got to save him the first time the second time and of course the last time that was really cool mm-hmm. what did you think of your experience with demon souls and do you agree with me i do agree with you that it was a little easier but um, I think, it's, like I said, it's, I think it's the reasoning because they did. I think they did that. Mm-hmm. But it also, dude, it felt great. It did feel great. Like the 60, 60 frames, frames like, is dude, insane. Like when I beat the game and I'm like, oh, yeah, you have to play it three times to platinum it. I was like, do I want to play it again? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Like, like I just finished it. Mm-hmm. Let me go play something else and then maybe I'll come back to it. Yeah, that was definitely my situation where I heard the, you know, Platinum, you know, play it three times. And I was like, eh, maybe later. Definitely not now. I, I wanted to get, I was, my mouth was watering for Bloodborne because I mm-hmm. really wanted to sink my teeth into that game. So that 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 was my next, and I'm enjoying my time with it so far. I'm only like three or four bosses in the game, so I'm not far mm-hmm. at all, but I am enjoying myself quite a bit. Yeah, no, it did it, it, it fall out, um, fall out. Um, I just said Fallout because there's a ad on my screen that said Fallout. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, f- like what? Fa- like for a game? The game or like the TV show? Like no, um, IGN's thing up in uh-huh. it said something about Fallout. Oh, and it was just like an ad. It, it might it be like, like an IGN deals thing. It was an inventory update overview. Oh, something. I see. So like for seventy six. So, yes. Okay. I was like, what no. are you looking at that has Fallout in it? Yeah, I, I, I didn't even, like, mean to. I had to scroll down past a certain story. Yeah. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, no, I'm playing Bloodborne right now too, and dude, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying my time. I'm so I'm so glad I'm finally playing it, but I'm I'm I hate myself that I waited so long. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm also happy because I'm playing it right now and I'm enjoying it. Uh, that also, I feel like everyone's listening, like, oh my god, you're you know, where are the new games? And then I think they immediately ask themselves, like, wait a minute, what new games? And I think we're in that kind mm-hmm. of point in between when those releases yeah there's not really much out right if you wanted hitman 3 that came out um today uh, Mm -hmm. no sorry two days ago medium so next week yeah medium comes out and we're getting a a couple games but nothing 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 too crazy we're definitely in that slot and this could be of course due to covid or you know plenty of other things but Mm -hmm we're in the slot where not much to play so kind of go back go in your backlog enjoy the games you missed uh i like to say like i have nothing to play so i have everything to play do you know what i mean by that alex like yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so many games i've missed i have everything to play if i wanted like any game pseudo yeah. i'm sure i've missed something so i'm not too crestfallen that we are mm-hmm. uh, no new games i'm perfectly fine with that i have plenty of games to play oh yeah no i'm the same Alex, I want now. Uh, let's get into this first story today. Before we get into that, I want to invite the audience to do two things for me. First, look yourself in the mirror. Give yourself a compliment. You're looking good today. I like I like the outfit. Now you tried something new, and I enjoy it. You look great. You feel great, and you're gonna kill it today. Thank you so much. Now, second thing I want you to do, YouTube or podcast service of your choice. Make sure you give it a like, and also make sure you leave a little review or comment. Whatever is easiest. That's a free completely free way that you can help support the show and if you want to give us financially of course patreon.com slash cg achievers give all the tears all the mumbo jumbo is on that site now i want to really get into this today alex i woke up kind of feeling myself you know like oh yeah i feel good today open the phone up open up twitter like i wonder what's going on and i immediately get shunted into the face with microsoft and how they're doubling the price of xbox live gold and i sat down and went all right let's read through this so nothing uh preposterous uh aside from what i just said they are literally doubling the price of gold so for instance the six month plans now cost sixty dollars if you remember they did revoke your access to be able to play uh, sorry to be able to pay for one year of gold that was i want to say alex last august sounds about right maybe september Mm -hmm. they definitely took away the year option and that definitely makes sense now that uh (laughs) because if you remember at the time we all thought they were taking away gold (laughs) and it seems silly now but we were like are they gonna shunt it into game pass ultimate and you can't pay for gold anymore oh no quite the opposite yeah they're making you pay double the price now which is hilarious in you know in hindsight we were silly probably back then now it's completely makes sense why they did that so if you want to pay a full year that is of course 120 dollars for 60 dollars memberships now there's something very interesting in all of this that i have not gotten a, a that sounds strange at first but if you think about it it makes sense i guess so <clears throat> this is directly from their uh reference page uh when they did the full announcement so the pricing change will not affect existing xbox live gold subscribers however as they'll still be able to renew their current plan at at the same price microsoft is also letting players who upgrade to its xbox live uh, ultimate which costs 15 per month or roughly 180 a year convert any remaining time to the membership with no additional cost (laughs) okay okay so it will not affect existing gold subscribers they'll still be able to renew their current plans at the same price that makes, ah, so, so it's so strange I, I guess it's to seem like they're taking care of like the in crowd you know like the the, mm-hmm. the people that are still here with them so yeah. so if you're currently subscribed to gain it's a gold then you will not see a change in your pricing as long as you i assume don't let it expire I assume once it's expired, you're, you go, hey, it, it, that's how much it costs. It's 120 But if you keep renewing it before you expire, then you're good. Right, Alex? That sound right to you? I'm not, I'm not I mean, spouting anything right. nonsensical? 
that's what I get from it. It just it's it just seems weird to me because I'll be like, oh yeah, I, I'll be talking to someone and and then uh, it's like yeah, I I pay sixty bucks for Xbox Live, um, and they're like, wait, what? I I pay sixty bucks for six months. I was like, what do you? And it's like and then I have to give the whole spiel. It's like oh, you know, you, if you didn't have it before. Yeah, it, it definitely is more complicated, right? Mm-hmm. Where like yeah you know it's 120 for you but for me it's 60 because I'm still subscribe you know and also you get to feel like kind of entitled you know like you know I've been here you know for a while it's only 60 bucks for me. but anyways I I think this is like a clear like hey um uh, buy buy Game Pass and like stop mm-hmm. paying for this either that or it is really expensive to maintain servers and we're just ignoring a huge uh, portion of their cost efficient where it's coming straight from maintaining servers and all that nonsense alex you know it could be of course but i do think either the first thing i brought up which was you know it it costs a lot of money this uh, uh, the price of game of gold has never changed before right hasn't it always been this way has it I believe so yeah because i remember i used to buy the monthly ones and it used to be 10 bucks a month and yeah when month it was introduced months. in um oh god when was gold introduced well that was that would have been 2000 and jesus oh it's been so long uh five that's that sounds wrong 2002 two thank you so much november 15 2002 and do you see a price there because that would have been for the let's see OG Xbox, right? Mm-hmm. Xbox yeah. Live pricing Pre- in 2002. 2002. I'm pretty sure it's it hasn't changed. Forty nine ninety nine a year. Okay, so you can argue that it didn't change because of inflation, blah blah blah. Anyways, so yeah, we haven't seen an increase since 2002, really. And I mean, even even if we did, it's ten dollars, so that's negligible. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's been pretty consistent, and you know. I preach about it all the time. Inflation exists, so I guess that does make sense that, you know, that doesn't quite explain the huge jump. I'm not justifying mm-hmm. it at all, but, you know, eh, maybe it's more expensive. There's more users on the platform, blah, blah, blah. I think the reason for the price uh, increase is clearly to move, uh, to, to make the price of uh, gold be more similar to Game Pass, so you're more likely to sign up for Ultimate. So it seems like you're actually saving money now, because versus you were just paying for them like normal. Yeah. Now it's you're saving money if you if you sign up for Ultimate. Uh, yeah, at this point, yeah. Yeah, at because like, what you're gonna pay uh, eleven dollars every month, or you're just gonna spend like three more dollars and get both get both of them. So it's like, yeah. why not just get the ultimate? I, mean, I feel I feel like I think that's what they'll do. So it'll be like you know six months. They're saying six months Xbox Live is sixty bucks. Yeah. And right now Game Pass Ultimate six months is sixty bucks. I think they're yeah. gonna move that up to seventy, and they're gonna be like, hey, you know, for ten bucks more, you can get just the Game Pass Ultimate version. Yeah, I'm curious if the reasoning for gold, because I think the reasoning they've actually increased this price is mm. to subsidize their actual spending in Game Pass. I think mm-hmm. Game Pass is clearly not making them profitable money. Now I want to be clear about that. Mm-hmm. They are not. The they they are not making. I want to be clear about this. They are not making profit off of Game Pass. They are making a lot of money. They are not. There's no way you they, you can you could. There's nothing you could do to change my mind that they are not making money off Game Pass. Mm. it is just too good <laughs> like if you just look at how their deals work and what they have to do and cuts they're trying to do the netflix you make it super good so you sign up and you forget and you pay them until you die uh, yeah so i definitely think this is for sure kind of to cut away like hey if you're paying for gold you're gonna start paying for it because you know we want you to really be on game pass and you can you know actually go there and give us money there and and uh, yada 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 it's very interesting the situation they put in and and it's always fascinating to see how people interpret the news because a lot Mm -hmm. of people on you know twitter and things like that kind of originally were doing the you know they did a price increase to incentivize game pass as if you know that was kind of like a makes it okay or something i'm very curious on if anyone actually goes, I don't want to pay that much. I'll just buy Ultimate. 
Like, I'm very, I'm wondering what the logic was to increase this price that will make sense for their long term. Um, because I assume they're basing it off of, well, everyone has an Xbox. Current subscribers won't pay any extra, so we're not, you know, anti consumering them or whatever. Mm-hmm. And maybe to regular people, as, i.e., casual consumers of, uh, you know, games won't notice that it's more expensive or won't care because that's they have to buy it anyways uh, first off xbox is the only platform you have to buy online for to play free-to-play games i.e fortnite and apex mm-hmm. so mm. go ahead you don't need ex- you don't need xbox live to play fortnite free-to-play you definitely do do you oh yeah yeah for sure 100 percent. that sounds weird i know i didn't believe it either till like i want to say three months four months ago because i was thinking like oh do you have to pay for that i think i was having a conversation with someone and i was like i never thought about it and i looked it up you can play fortnite on ps5 4 and switch Mm, free to play but you cannot do that on an xbox you can't you have it will always cost you something to play fortnite or apex that's true that is kind of (laughs) weird right now they probably make a lot of money off gold. So I could see why they're like, you're not getting like this free now. And sure. I, it's, it's still strange. Also, like if you don't want to pay for gold, you can just get on your PC and play things, which it seems like more and more Xbox is like, just buy a PC, <laughs> which is weird. I don't know why they keep incentivizing people to just play it on PC. Cause like, you know, you could just pay for Game Pass really at that point, and you don't have to pay for anything else. It's it, it is it bad that I feel like they're, they're pushing more people to do PC, so they don't have to worry about making the hardware, and they just strictly go PC well, and just worry about that, updating I all mean, that. That could be far from future. I, I would hate to see that, but I mean, the the you know it could be the like, tea hey, leaves. We're done making consoles. We're gonna strictly provide everything on pc i mean so you you, you, you know like, yeah you know xbox is talking with with some tv manufacturer on how yeah. to get game pass on a tv you know that's happening oh, right you sure. like that's for sure in the works sort of streaming stick or something it's going to be either a streaming stick or it's going to be built it's going to be an app it's going to be a disney plus on a tv mm-hmm. it's just uh, over the cloud you're streaming it you pay for game pass and you can play on your tv that's yeah. for sure happening right now that's just the, it's the time of if not when or sorry, it's the matter of when, not if. No. Uh, so, yeah, it's very strange. I hope I don't know. What are your thoughts about it? I've been kind of hammering away at this. I, I want your thoughts. What do you think? I mean, I did. I I do think it's definitely a uh, how would I say? I definitely think that they're not making as much as they could. They th- thought they were maybe mm-hmm. on game pass what is it, on game pass okay so yeah i feel like they had to th- think about this for a while because i feel like they ha- they were thinking about this for a while before they decided to change the price right for sure we know for at least what minimum six months because that's when they took away the year price right so they've been slowly like getting to this point i'm curious what what went what was like the 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 twig break like what was the oh we have to increase this for X reason. And I'm assuming it's yeah. to either make Game Pass more attractive. More people have been d- subscribing more to g- the Game Pass. And I've, uh, I, feel like just, I feel like people have been just getting more Game Pass to mm-hmm. where, like, I mean, we're just, and now that they've added Bethesda, now they have to pay, you know, Bethesda and stuff. I saw an interesting, and I've actually shared this thought before, but um, I saw an interesting tweet by one um paris lily great follow by the way on twitter and does a great show um so go follow him he tweeted out what he thinks the right move would be is you make multiplayer so like just playing with people free on xbox live which i don't don't know they're they'll never do that but they make Mm -hmm. that free and they make every other benefit of gold go into ultimate so it's basically ultimate you'll get all the cool stuff but uh uh your actual multiplayer stuff will be free no yeah i mean i mm, it's definitely an interesting idea 
but then I feel like you'll get a lot of people where you're like, I mean, well, then that means are they going to, like, okay, the multiplayer stuff is free, but does that mean are you going to fully charge me the full price on the single player stuff if I'm not getting both things? It's, well, one thing is, like, I, I imagine they would lose a lot of money <laughs> off of that, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. do they make ultimate a lot more expensive because that's your only option yeah, but i mean exactly. you get multiplayer for free now but... no way 60 dollars for for i guess and i mean i guess they have before depending on the game because i was gonna say they can't charge 60 70 bucks on a single player just there's no multiplayer or nothing but technically they have done that before no oh, they've done it plenty of times but uh, I was just curious what you thought about that specifically. Making online just free, you can you know you can go play Apex free. It's you never pay anything for that. But I feel like, all I feel benefits like of gold it, just I go into it, ultimate. No, I feel like they've thought about it, and mm-hmm. maybe they were even close of deciding to do it. But I think it was just mm-mm. I don't think they would, I don't think they're gonna do it. Mm, I think one major compelling thing with Microsoft specifically, not talking about Xbox, but Microsoft specifically, what they mm-hmm. like about Xbox so much is the continuous revenue, in my opinion. If I had to yeah. guess, again, again, I guess this is just a dude that bought a microphone and is talking to you right now on a, on a podcast, so I'm just <laughs> guessing. But if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure Microsoft very much likes the continuous revenue, right? Microsoft makes a lot of money off their Office products, a lot of money on other things, so I'm assuming they're like, we like Xbox, they've messed up you know like 20 times but (laughs) they really are good at selling gold and now game pass and they just get continuous revenue because if we just do a little bit of math let's say 10 million people are subscribed to game pass monthly that's a hundred million dollars a month that's 1.2 billion dollars in a year and that's just 10 million with one subscription service not including the other one not including ultimate so Mm -hmm. that's a lot of money and that's a lot of money that you could be making a lot of the time. Just to throw it out there, maybe that makes a little more sense now. I'm just spitballing. Yeah. Very curious where this goes from. And I want to see, like, this, is see if it affects anything in, like, five years. Like, like, or do we still have the same gold Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate situation we do in, like, five years? Or do we get one consolidated, this is the membership, you pay this much, you get this. But... I guess we'll see. Uh, Phil's always been like, you know, we like giving players choice. But then, you know, they raised everything anyways. So. I was trying to see if if there was anything anywhere that tells me how much did Ultimate uh, make them in 2020, but I can't Ooh, find yeah, they don't. they don't uh, release stuff like that anymore. Uh, mm-hmm. They, yeah. I don't think they've, I don't think they've released a, f- figure on how much money they made on anything xbox related Mm -hmm. since 2014 because 2013 because they always reported 360 sales like all the time Mm -hmm. they would they would go on mpd and all that stuff and around 2013 2014 obviously because of xbox one's huge failure they (laughs) definitely they stopped with their you know they didn't they didn't flex anymore because there was nothing to flex so, it's funny because in uh, July of last year, um, Aaron Greenberg uh, admitted that he, uh, Game Pass is indeed not that profitable. For, so, but I, so I was yeah. going to actually bring that up. Thank you for reminding me, Alex. That is a great thing to bring up. So go ahead and read that quote for me, please. I want to see if I can bring it up while you do that. Here, let's see. Let me bring it up real quick because now my computer wants to be slow. Yeah. I love technology. All right, let's see. Um, trying to find uh yeah i I got you right here xbox game pass has not been very profitable up to this point again you know not very surprising it costs like how how alex do you remember how Mm. much money we've spent on ultimate slash game pass or whatever like we've gotten so many deals on this thing i feel Mm. like i've bought 20 years of this thing for like ten dollars so like definitely haven't spent that much money and i have a lot of time with this stuff yeah i mean that's a good point uh but i want to i want a direct quote here yeah so he was uh this was an interview with GameSpot. Uh, people have been surprised on how good of a deal Game Pass is and often ask Green Burr about his profitability on He says the response to it makes him laugh and tell the questionnaire, quote, please don't worry about us. Microsoft is going to be all right. And quote, that's a good point. That is a very good point. He says that, quote, not a, bi- not a big profit play, end quote, as the company still views the program as being in its infancy. 
Exploit that has hopes in the future will be paved with gold as more and more people are drawn to the outstanding deal. Yeah, he's hoping that the importance of the building up a base of customers will eventually pay it off. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like I, I went back to the and I put it in a very um, non eloquent way, but it, you know, you get a big subscriber base. They eventually forget that they're paying you, and you just eat the revenue. Or you know, mm-hmm. you can you know we can go nicer if you'd like and say they enjoy the service so much that they stick around and you get valued customers that stay and love yeah. your brand and yeah. then they yeah and then they stay and then they wind up buying more stuff from you from them yeah you could yeah you can sugarcoat it all you want but i agree it is still infancy and you do ha- i mean i never want to come across as the guy that's worried about microsoft they're fine i <laughs> they have plenty of money i'm not worried about their money i'm just saying they're not making money off it, and they're fine with that. They are fine with that. They want a Netflix. They are willing to eat it for four to five years to get a Netflix. Oh, for sure. I'm sure a lot of companies would be. I would. I mean, hey, they're getting, they're getting there. They get, they're, they're, they're pretty much owning everything. <laughs> yeah, spending seven point five billion dollars on a game studios. Yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. They're definitely not afraid to throw money around, especially Microsoft. They, they are insane over there. Now, Resident Evil Village, Alex, had a showcase. Now, I will say calling that a showcase was is definitely being um, very nice. <laughs> they showed the game off, announced the release date, announced a demo, and announced a weird spin-off multiplayer thing. And mm-hmm. that's about it. They kind of showed off a CG movie that was being made. But the showcase was, in you know, all honesty, kind of a, a letdown because of how much they hyped it up. They definitely should have just released this without telling anyone. They did For not sure. have to hype it up and call it a showcase. That was not a showcase. That was a couple trailers and a guy talking about the game. The game looks amazing. Yeah, not taken away from the game, the, but mean, the showcase showed, was boring. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they showed, like... I don't know if it was gameplay, but they showed they're like, oh, this is what the demo consists of. So you're not gonna be able to like, r- uh, like you know, fight back or do anything, but you'll be able to like, walk around and like run away. I'm gonna be straight up real with you right now, Alex, and everyone listening, of course. Exclusive demos are stupid. Mm-hmm. What is the po- the point of a demo? Is for a lot of people to try out your game. <laughs> why are you making exclusive why would you make a demo exclusive for anything you want them to play the game to like it and not only that it's exclusive to a ps5 so like it's even more exclusive than it was to just put it on playstation platforms Mm -hmm. so it's just like what are you doing that for but maybe playstation gave them a lot of money to do this but i think that is very silly i mean do they realize that not a lot of people have PS5 as much, or I don't know. What, maybe you, they what got... do you mean? A million people are gonna play a demo. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I I get what you're saying. Like for sure, I mean, not a yeah, lot of people have it. Have, yeah. Uh, I mean, they're finally restocking. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm very curious on what the average consumer's experience with trying to buy a PS5 is. If you if you can write in patreoncom slash you can just do a DM service. All you have to do is either pay a dollar or you can tweet at me, and I'm guarantee I'll put you on the show. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you the brass tacks of what was said. Resident Evil Village is heading to PC and consoles May 7th. This is, of course, published by Capcom. Uh, and I believe they are also the devs behind it. Alex, if you can look that up for me, who develops this one? Is it just. Uh, it, I think it's just in studio, right? That's what you're talking about, that, right? So, uh, yeah, Resident, Resident Evil Village. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just in house. And they, I think it's just. Capcom, right? Damn it. Literally just tried to type it in, and for some reason, my my uh, computer wants to type something else. This game picks up the story the, of Resident Evil 7, with players once again taking... Capcom series, yeah. Okay, making sure it was in how I, I didn't think they yeah. um, implied anyone else, but I wanted to make sure I gave correct yeah. credit. It's crazy, because you still play as the same dude. That's my first off, first issue with this game. <laughs> Ethan Winters. Hey, Alex, can you tell me one trait of Ethan Winters? Why are we playing at this boring-ass guy again? 
I don't know. He had the balls enough to go get back his wife. I don't know. I, I, when I heard the name Ethan Winters, first off, I went, who is that? Then I realized that was the protagonist of a game that I beat. Hmm. I should not not know and, that. Um, apparently, the the main remember the main old dude in Resident Evil Seven, the one that was in the yes. whole. He's uh, the brother of the new chick, the 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 one with the hat, the one that dressed in white, the maiden looking chick. No way. Yeah, that's what they said. What? Uh, in in the in the showcase in the in the cutscene where they bring they walk, the they capture you and they bring her to you. They're like, oh, you played with you you were uh, playing my bro- my brother's little games and stuff like that, but or something or you escaped my brother's games or something like that. What? And I'm like, what? They were related. So that part okay. I got, and I'm like, interesting. You can tell I just could not care. <laughs> I just, no, the, the I was just like, Aiden chick, what is related to the person from the last game? Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's weird. Um, so instead of rescuing his wife, he is now rescuing his daughter from a vampire lady and her daughters. So I guess he just has to rescue women. I guess that's just the plot now. He he rescues different women, which is weird because how long how long has it been since the Resident Evil Seven? Because when did he have the time to have daughters or a daughter? And did you say did you just say his daughters has daughters? No 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 no. no. So he's oh, okay. infiltrating a castle to rescue his daughter. Okay. From the vampire lady and her daughters, like oh, you know gotcha. the big the big Got hat it. lady, super super yeah, tall yeah. and her daughters yeah. have uh have her. Gotcha. Um, well, yeah. So it's definitely a case of okay, this doesn't so far like intrigue me. The setting looks really cool, mm-hmm. but the actual plot sounds it sounds just like seven. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Why are we doing the same thing again? Oh, excuse me. You need to go take a nap. I can hey, wait. Oh, I want to. Um, damn, I lost what I was saying. <laughs> Don't you hate that? So, yeah. oh, okay. Um, the game definitely looks great. Okay, but I, I no, don't know. It, it looks great. It's, yeah, it's I'm excited to play it. It's just it's it it's it, it's definitely trying, like like I feel like a little too hard on the horror. Interesting. Like you know, so like, like like you know, certain games like you know that have that or horror aspect, but yeah. you're like, okay, I mean, I get what they're doing, but like it's. It's it's uh, manageable. I feel like this one's trying to do too much, and I'm like, uh, it's a little, it's a little, like, too in your like, face with it. Yes. Not subtle. Interesting. I I want to. I'm I'm excited to play the game because I because I I understand where you're coming from, right? The they're they're like, how can we make this as terrifying as possible? Like you know, let's give this guy a chainsaw hands with beetles coming out of his eyeballs and like a giant snake tongue or something yeah i know what you mean like it could be over the top so Mm. i'm i want to know what is like gonna like have me want to play the game because i loved seven for the uh setting and you know how how it went down with the whole story figuring out you know what was happening in this this weird house with this crazy dude and yeah. the whole the wife subplot was honestly more interesting than the actual like story story of the game but oh, you know, shame, we didn't we shame. didn't get that we we got the the ethan winters story okay. <laughs> but hopefully this time around i'll enjoy it more uh it does come out again may 7th so we will be right there with you guys playing it they also announced in this showcase um uh, a Resident Evil multiplayer game called Reverse, which is R E colon verse. Mm. <sighs> Why do they keep with this? What's up with this, Alex? Why do they keep trying to make these multiplayer games? They tried with uh, Resident Evil Raccoon City, that just oof. And then there was, Man, I don't even know. And then there was Resident Evil Six, which was like, who cares? But like they keep trying with these games resident evil 3 had a multiplayer mode that i completely forgot about until i watched the showcase and went did that come out and i googled it and it did uh resident evil 3's multiplayer came out and it just i just never heard about it which is hilarious <laughs> but i do wish uh i do wish they stopped with this stuff and just made other games or something 
or reinvested the money into the multiplayer. actual game because I'm tired of the multiplayer stuff. Yeah, I don't understand why they're trying to make it multiplayer because it's clearly not a multiplayer game. It, well, I looked at it and it looks, and I, I hate to be that guy, but I don't want to be rude. I, you know, if you like it, of course, go go play it, but it looks terrible. Mm-hmm. Like I just mean, just the like kind of quick look we got, like that did not look fun. It, the way he was trying to aim at people, and it <laughs> it looked so slow. I was mm-hmm. I was just like, this looks really bad, and the and you're trying to make it look good. So I I just was like, I can't I can't with that, with the reverse. Not no no reverse for me, Alex. I mean, remember when everybody was trying to make a type of survival game, and you saw what happened with Metal Gear Survive. Oh Jesus! I'm bringing that up. Oh, my God. Ugh. Also, they um, and I I don't even remember. The, oh yeah, so they showed off the 3D animated Resident Evil Infinite Darkness film, which will launch on Netflix this year. Which is all right, cool. They didn't show anything. They literally just said the <laughs> name, showed like a little quick image, and then like quickly like ran away from it. So I have no idea what that was about. Did they, even know there was a thing? I didn't either. <laughs> I know they're making a um, like actual TV show, right? Aren't they? With Netflix, right. or is that is that what that is? Maybe I mean that could be what it is. I, th- I think they're making an actual show though about Leon. I don't know. Mm, I, don't, maybe. I, don't, I don't. I don't know. Dude, I, I can't keep up with all this. Really I can't shit. either. It's so it's so much. There were movies that people liked. I liked the the first one was weird, but the, I know they liked that, but like didn't like the animated movies. I heard they're all terrible. So confusing. Alex. Mm-hmm. Sony Santa Monica is apparently making a second game. So if you don't know who Sony Santa Monica is, they have our course f- no known throughout the gaming universe as the people who made God of War. And they really just make God of War. They don't really make anything else. Uh, they've made, of course, all of the God of War games that you're probably thinking of right now. You know, God of War 2016, 1, 2, and 3. Mm-hmm. Um and they are in talks with not in talks sorry they had new hiring open up and it's very clear they're working on a different game that they needed an art art director for alex not much to actual story here other than we got confirmed even though we kind of knew already that they were making um a second game alongside of course god uh, god of war ragnarok maybe that's your smaller game you were thinking of and God of War Ragnarok is the actual game. Interesting. Maybe. I still do not think, though. But I think the second project is a big deal. I think it's something that no, they sure. wanted to do. I mean, and I, I mean, wouldn't be more, surprised if Corey Barlog... Uh, is, do you think it's another God I don't think it's another. I think it's something Oh, new. God of War Studios. Mm-mm. Uh, I, I don't think they're making a se- another no. God of War right now. I okay, think... so second project, meaning it's is technically a project always a video game or could it be something related to that game so we know they're working on a second project so in yeah. theory like if i understand what you're asking it could be god of war 5 or whatever you want to call it okay in theory it could be it's it's not, i don't think it is but in theory it could be um i think it's something completely new i'm just not sure what that is now we're getting god of war ragnarok of course that is being used on I, there are rumors that Corey is not even working on Ragnarok. Um, I'm sure he's helping. I'm sure he's helping a little bit with it, but the rumors are that he is actually working with. Um, uh, he's working on the second project, something he's like super excited about, and he's like really adamant about. It, it, that's, that's the rumor, is. scuttlebutt, whatever. And just to reiterate, if you remember back in March. Um, I forget her first name because I have this on the wiki and I was going to bring this up, but I forgot her first name. I want to say it's Shannon Studstill. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. She left, which was like a huge deal. She was the uh, uh, studio head. She left for Google Stadia and they uh, promoted Yumi Yang as the actual studio head. So most likely I, I imagine he's doing the majority overlook on Ragnarok and I wouldn't be surprised if Barlog has some crazy side thing going on. And I want to know what it is, Alex. Dude, um, now you got me concerned that you like if he's not working on Ragnarok, 
I mean, he could be okay. Again, I'm not saying he's like not, no hands off. I think this second project has his full attention. And I think they're trying to make a God of War where Barlog does not have to be uh, with with the studio. Similar to we have this Unch- Uncharted situation mm-hmm. where uh, they have Uncharted and they are trying to figure out what Uncharted is without an audio dog. But it's slowly trying to make it. I don't know. Just, it's only speculation right now. What do you What do you think? Do you think this is? I'm just uh, completely off base, and this is most likely just another God of War thing that we don't know about. Or do you think this no, is something I completely new? I think it could be something really new. That's why I was asking, like, like project. I mean, I I, I think it's a, a game because I was at first I was thinking it's like project. It could be something different. Like like it could be like like you know how they're doing the Resident Evil shows and anime and things like that. Like it could have been something like that, but it's like you know from that studio but at this i think it mm-hmm. could be, it could be a game now now i brought this up before mm-hmm. the scuttlebutt is, is it's uncharted that's that's what that's what they think he's From there working Sony on Sony Santa Monica um so uh oh wait no am i getting too confused no so sorry so the I mean, the I scuttlebutt mean, is Sony uncharted well well they don't do uncharted anymore they 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 agree. remember four is last one they're not doing uncharted anymore so they're just mm-hmm. doing their own stuff in Last of Us. Uh, I think Sony San Diego is actually the the one working on them. I'm getting too confused because, of course, they're all in God, California. But Sony San Diego is most likely working on the Uncharted game. Um, mm. So we're looking specifically at a, I think, new IP potentially. Something Maybe. completely different and, and new. This, this is, of course, again, they were looking for an art director. Now, do you think it could be a spin-off off the God of War world? Mm. Like, like it's in that same it's not, it's world. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. But it could, yeah, it could be in the same world. But instead of you being Kratos, you're someone else. Maybe you're the wife that was with that, that had died, or yeah. something else. I, again, all these are possible. All mm. it says is, um, unannounced, uh project i believe is mm-hmm. all literally all it says I, i'm pretty sure let me let me get that again uh let's see job let's see. yeah development of a new unannounced title that's all it says so mm-hmm. we have that we can't literally go off nothing from that mm-hmm. so eh, could be literally anything i want to think it's something just completely new without any basis in anything and if you want to get crazy it could be you know some sort of uh you know what would you call it uh something akin to like a spider-man game where they got up in lucasfilm's business and went hey you want to make something uh if you want to get really crazy uh i think cory barlog like did he like mention space at some point Hmm. and and i think that got people to speculate he's working on a sci-fi game i think he mentioned space in like a in in like a, a like a weird tweet I think at one point I don't know. I, could, I, I there's so much happening in this game. I could be confusing two things. Write in if you know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure at some point he did something with space, and people were like, "Is the project they're working on space related?" I don't know. I'm very curious though if Corey's actually working on this God of War. I mean, you're not. I mean, nah. I guess Naughty Dog wasn't the only person who did Uncharted. I mean, Sony Ben Ben did, did, Golden did Abyss. yeah did Golden Abyss. I, I look. I'm pretty positive. Santa Monica. Sorry. <laughs> Again, make, mix it up. Sony San Diego. I'll bet money on this. I'm pretty sure San Diego is working on an Uncharted game. I I think almost for sure Naughty Dog made it very clear they are done with Uncharted. If you have mm-hmm. played Uncharted 4, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this next sentence. They've left it clearly open for a sequel. I think... Uh, san diego is making that sequel they're making what you see at the end of that game a game and you know what you're about to get you're about to get uncharted god of war edition where you're the uh, except you play as um i guess you would be atreus in this situation with these two yeah, yeah and that's all i'll sure. say i don't want to spoil it too much i already, I already gave a lot away I think I know what mm-hmm. you know exactly what i'm talking about with that alex and and yep, you, you're telling me your little pecker doesn't move a tiny bit with that you know what i'm saying no no i i, I am all for it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but alas we can only speculate right in with what you think santa monica and san diego and, and what you just think anyone's working on 
write us in tell us what you think we're gonna settle down a tiny bit we got it all worked out with unannounced things we're gonna i'm, I'm gonna ask an alex a question i didn't prep him on this so i'm very curious uh-huh. what he'll say to this but before we okay. get into that question i want to remind you that you can't of course Go to youtube.com slash easy achievers. You can't really do that, but you can just search easy achievers and you can go to our YouTube page and hit subscribe. That helps us a lot. You have no idea how much that helps us in the back end. And then you, of course, can like this video or like this on your podcast service of choice. Again, leave us a little nice review, five stars, of course. Tell them how good we are. That helps with the algorithms. Remember, algorithms is what keep us going. Also, if you have an extra couple dollars, we know it's COVID, so. Don't press yourself if you don't have it. But if you want to, you can support our little dream we have here. You can go to patreon.com slash Give us a buck. Helps us out so much. That might get us to video soon. We are working on a little video thing. We're trying to get this to work. Video is very hard. And I'm probably going to have to learn how to use Adobe <laughs> Premiere, which I'm kind of excited about. Yeah. I'm kind of excited that I get to start editing things. That sounds fun. I was about to say, did you wind up downloading and stuff? I think I, I, I still need the uh, the login information, I'm pretty sure. I no, I, I think I have that, actually. I think I need to download it. I'm pretty sure that's what I have left. I have to check, but we'll talk about that later. Now, Alex, I want to end the show mm. with one question. Uh-oh. And it, it might make you upset. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Alex, will Halo Infinite be good? I feel like... It will be good. I don't know if it's going to be amazing. And I definitely don't think it's going to be awful. Hmm. So no, if we had to give I, number I'm, values, I'm like, no, we're not no. getting a 6.5. We're getting maybe a 7, I feel bare like it's minimum. Gonna be better. I, okay, here. It, it, this helps. I, I feel like it's going to be better than Halo 5, for sure. Okay, so not... Same game wise and story much. wise, I feel like story is gonna be way better. Okay, I have a feeling. Four hmm. better than four. I feel like it could. Uh, I think it could get close. Maybe yes. Maybe better than four. I hope we're bare minimum better than four. Yeah, I know I have a lot of nostalgia put to three, so I don't even think it's possible to be better than three. If I'm being honest, no. Uh, because it's just that's just not how nostalgia works. You'll always remember it's better than it actually is. But I hope, I hope it is good. <laughs> I no, just can't take yeah, it. It's not. And, and and you know what? If they didn't believe in it, they wouldn't have delayed it. That makes sense. No, for sure. They they, they they yeah. If they didn't believe it, yeah, no, because they want to give it time. And I, I hey, let them. Yeah, they delayed it an entire year. That's unheard of for a huge title like that. Sure. And you know, Phil is looking at those board of oh, directors, yeah, for sure. going. We could have been cyberpunk and is just so glad that he did not be another, be a cyberpunk. Like, can you imagine like talking a bunch of people that have money invested in Halo being good, right? Launching a new system Mm -hmm. and all that. And you have to now go to them and go like your bosses and go, Hey, I have to delay this huge title. That's going to sell out consoles. And they go, what? <laughs> and then they probably, you know, he probably had to grease some wheels, talk to them out and all that stuff. But then he gets to show them December, was it 20th? 12th? Uh, what, sometime in December that game came out, right? Mm, I'm already blanking. Who cares? It, Cyberpunk came out and he goes, we could have been that. We could have been eaten alive right now <laughs> by Twitter, you know, whoever you want. Insert insert social media or person here and how happy he probably is like we 10th december 10th december 10th thank you we missed that by a mile now because you can they have a whole nother year to work it you know COVID, i'm sure hurt them a lot they get to make the game pretty which by the way looks gorgeous if those screenshots are anything now of course they were prettied up for you know uh, the news uh people to get but you know it it probably looks pretty close to that and i'm very excited (laughs) very very excited alex there is a little, one more tiny question i want to really quick get out to you because i want to let you go because we're running um longer uh mm-hmm. than i wanted to keep you here today alex go play Bloodborne. yeah me too uh alex do you think we get halo infinite or do we get halo multiplayer 
and then here's Halo single player a few weeks later. Or the inverse, we get single player, multiplayer comes in in three months. What 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 do you th- what do you think? I feel like we're gonna get it all at once, and then maybe I think so too. And then I think a, maybe a couple weeks, couple months. I don't know how long they they'll take. They'll be like, okay, the multiplayer is free to play. Yeah, because they're for sure they announce multiplayer is free to play. Whatever that you know, whatever that entails. If it's a BR. The, the timeline of when that time releases team, just depend, the, depends on how it's sold. Interesting. Now, mm-hmm. oh, int- I, I, there's so much with Halo. It, this release is so important with Halo mm-hmm. because this is this basically determines because they said they want this Halo to last for ten years, whatever that means. Uh, I don't, I don't know if they mean Halo as like as like a platform to make other halos or if this is literally to last 10 years i don't know but i think all of it gets released at one time in one release it goes on game pass you get to play it and it works you know fantastic they love it and then they work it into master chief collection after a while and you can mess around with halo 2 weapons and like Halo Infinite now, graphics or some crazy shit like that. Okay, now hear me this. Would you want Infinite to be part of Master Chief Collection, or would you want them to, since you said you, they want this to last 10 years, every year they come out with the new ma- with new maps. New maps. They'll be like, okay, this year will Maybe be... Maybe like side stories. Ha- this year will be Halo 1's maps coming out. Next year will be uh... Halo 2's maps coming out. The next year after will be Halo 3's maps coming out, mm. all on Halo Infinite. All remastered maps on the game. Now, Alex, I that's a good that that's you got something there. I don't think that's. I'd be down. I don't think that's too crazy to say, um, especially back every year. with given the context of Master Chief Collection, how how um, mm-hmm. uh, much of a success that slowly turned out to be. Yes, I I, I you know what that's that could be what they're trying to do. That could be they slowly integrate infinite um into every other halo game and we and and that makes a little more sense with why it's called halo Halo infinite Infinite. yeah because we have all of the games into one wow that i've i've never thought about it that way that's that's a great point now it would be weird because you people will be like well if all the maps are on halo infinite why would you play master chief collection i mean you stem if infinite would only be the multiplayer and yeah. uh, Master Chief Collection will be all the, oh, the stories, same, the stories yeah. and all the and the actual hmm. online of those versions of those games. Mm-hmm. Um, Halo Five or excuse me, Halo Infinite will only be Halo Infinite's versions of those maps. So it'd be like remapped, like a remastered type of like how they how they remastered Halo Two and stuff like that, like that. But for Halo Five, Halo Infinite, excuse me, I keep saying Halo Five. <sighs> Now that's exciting. That. That's exciting, Alex. And now I don't even mind. I would even pay 15, 20 bucks to get all of Halo 1 like yearly. It'll be like, okay, you can get all of Halo Halo 1's maps, like, like eight to ten of them or whatever, for 15, 20 bucks. And you get all of them remastered. I'd do it. <sighs> what a strong idea. I like that. I really like that. De- uh, I hope. Hope three four three Xbox is listening right now, cause cause you just gave a fantastic idea. Now they could have already, of course, been working on that. The the name is yeah, Halo Infinite for a reason, and we've also look, kind of wondered is, why it's called I, that, anyways, right? Look, my thing is if I can come up with that and I'm like a nobody and I'm <laughs> done, I somebody else. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean by that. I I, I kind of like it. I, I like that idea. I, I hope that's kind of what they're trying to do. Actually, now I'm going mm-hmm. to now steal that and pretend like I did. I came up with that. Thank you, Alex. Mm, okay. uh, I guess we got recorded proof. Uh, what? Oh no! We're going out. Unfortunately, that's all we have today. We're losing the recording, so I'm gonna have to let you guys go. But and then you, I don't know where you just see the like you know the TV when it loses connection yeah. is those colorful lines. Yeah, yeah, the lines. <laughs> <laughs> it just says us, please stand by, and all that stuff. Oh my god. Anyways, though, thank you so much for listening. I have to go think. Alex is probably going to just go play Bloodborne. I'm just going to go mm-hmm. sit and just think about Halo Infinite now because my whole mind's been blown. Uh, Alex, thank you for joining me today. That was super fun, especially, um, uh, you know, we got it to a nice tight under hour. I kind of like that. Yeah, man. Now, I'm going to leave you all with what I leave you with every week. <laughs>